biscuit. I got my barbecue shoes on. I'm gonna smoke me a bad brisket. I got my barbecue shoes on. I got my natural case. I've got the hogs on the BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're grilling up some nacho wings at the pit, and they're real easy to do. All right, wings, meaning chicken wings, and here we've got about six pounds of uh, whole chicken wings. They're about medium in size. And for this recipe, you're going to need some shredded cheese. Here we've got sliced olive. Here we've got taco seasoning. We've got black beans, jalapeno peppers, guacamole, tomato sour cream there's a lot right you got lime we've got some green onions here we've got cilantro we got garlic you're gonna need some onion oh avocados right and you're gonna need some uh, pico de gallo salsa here's some hot sauce spg or salt and pepper right here are some nacho chips, or use your favorite chips, flavored chips. And of course, for the pit master, you're going to need some cerveza. All right, let's put this together. Now, these wings are left hole, right? You always leave the tip on. Don't separate them. You got something to handle, right? And on it, we're putting in some hot sauce. Use your favorite hot sauce. And here we've got a good tablespoon, maybe more of your favorite taco seasoning. And uh, taco seasoning is simply chili powder, like garlic, onion powder, red pepper, oregano, cumin, salt and pepper. Uh, and uh, this is gonna give us the flavor we want, all right? Now, we're gonna uh, throw these on a sheet pan or a cookie pan, call it what you want, all right? And um, like I said, this is gonna be easy to do and you're gonna need to make a bunch of them. I'm telling you, these will go quick. And what I'm doing here, just sorting them out, right? Um, top side up, makes for a more consistent uh, cook, right? Spread them out, oh yeah. Now, if you've never had nacho wings before, you definitely gotta check it out. This is some real good eating at the pit. And if uh, you're pretty sick and tired of those same old, same old buffalo hot wings, <laughs> yeah. You got to check these out. Man, far better. All right, now we're placing them on uh, our kettle grill opposite the hot coals, right? Indirect, you know about that. We don't want any heat underneath. We want a nice, even cook. All right. Now we're about halfway into this, and it only take about, gee, 35, 40 minutes to get them to 160 degrees Fahrenheit internal. All we're doing here is uh, rotating the pan so we get some even cooking because of that indirect cook we're doing. Simple enough. Now while we're waiting, we're gonna chop up some veggies. Here we've got some green onion. We've got some cilantro. And uh, these will be applied to these wings at the end. Here we've got some tomato, you wanna dice it up. We're doing nachos, all right? Simple. Perfect for the football games coming up. Yeah, excellent. All right, now, here I've got some nacho chips. Some tortilla chips, flavored. Call them what you want. There's some good ones out there. And uh, let me show you what we're going to do with these. We're going to add some texture to these wings, right? And just throw a bunch of those chips in there and smash them down. Get them fine. Maybe some chunks in there too, right? We'll make these wings nice and crispy. All right. Through the miracle of time, these wings are done, right? They're cooked. Now you want to add your shredded cheese. We've got cheddar. We've got a couple blends of cheese in here. Cheddar is awesome. And uh, there's about two pounds of cheese in here going to go on. I'm going to spread it all over this pan. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Perfect. Now, this is where the 
the chips come in, right? We're going to load those up on top of the cheese. And this is going to add a crispy texture when this is done. Also a lot of flavor too, right? Depending upon what uh, taco chips you're using, tortilla chips. good enough to eat already but we'll wait let that cheese melt all right perfect take a look at that we'll pull it off the grill now you could be making several sheets of this right for whatever what you got going on at the pit party games whatever now here's the fresca part fresh right sliced olives here we've got some sliced pickled jalapenos nacho style right now you could set this up like you would any plate of nachos right that's good how about um how about some black beans <laughs> Pit boy's getting healthy here, man, right? Spread them on. As much or as little as you want. Here we're throwing on those sliced green onions. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. And here we've got some cilantro. You gotta have the cilantro. Got a little bit of sweet onion on there. Whatever you got. Right? Oh man, it smells good. Now we've got those diced fresh tomatoes. It's beginning to look real pretty now, isn't it? <laughs> oh man. Can you smell that? It smells good. And if you can't, you're on the wrong damn channel now, aren't you? All right, here we've got some lime. We'll squeeze a few drops all over top. Yeah. And this is what you're gonna end up with, right? Nice little party tray, guacamole, sour cream. We got also some uh, pico de gallo, or salsa fresca. So again, Take a look at that. Lord have mercy. And of course, we do apologize for eating in front of you like that, but um, we call this pitmaster privilege. You're gonna have to go out and get your own wings, right? It's good, good. So the next time you're looking for a good recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.